Hello, little friends today. We're going on a magical adventure to discover the difference between living and non-living things. Living things can grow, move, breathe, and eat. Look at these examples. Some children grow and become elder. Birds drink water and eat seeds. Leaves and stem move towards sunlight, roots move towards water. Ow! Let's explore non-living things. They don't grow, breathe, or eat. But they can be lots of fun. Welcome, young learners! Get ready for a magical journey in our garden with Grandpa and his grandson. Let's explore living and non-living things together. Once upon a time, there was a wise grandfather and his curious grandson. One day, as they were in the garden, Grandpa looked at the world around them and decided to teach his grandson about living and non-living things. Grandpa pointed to a baby and asked, Tell me, my little one, is a baby living or non-living? Oh, Grandpa, a baby is living. Babies eat, move, babies grow and breathe. Grandpa smiled and nodded. Very good. Now, what about a little chick? Is it living or non-living? Little chick is living too, Grandpa. It hatches from an egg, eats chirps and runs around. Grandpa continued his quiz. How about this plant? Is it living or non-living? Yes, Grandpa, a plant is living. It grows, drinks water and turns towards the sun. Grandpa was pleased with his grandson's answers. You're doing great, my little one. Now, what about this stone? The table and that toy over there? Grandson thought for a moment. The stone is non-living, Grandpa. It doesn't grow or move. The table and toy are also non-living. They don't eat or breathe. You've learned well, my smart little one. Everything around us has its own way of living or being non-living. And so, in their cozy garden, surrounded by the beauty of living and non-living things, Grandpa and his grandson continued to explore the world together. Is this a living thing or a non-living thing? Let's find out together. Can you spot something living or non-living around you? 